بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello my dear students I am Dr. Mona Abunur Professor of Forensic Medicine and Clinical Toxicology Discuss together the topic of head injuries This topic will be divided into two parts Today we will discuss the first part of head injuries The learning objectives will be Classification of head injuries Identification of scalp injuries and their complications Discussion of the different types of skull fractures Describing the healing of skull fractures Why you study head injuries? Head injuries is the cause of death in 25% of trauma patients It is the cause of death in 50% of motor vehicle accidents Uh, if uh, head injuries uh, don't cause or lead to death, it may lead to significant long-term disability. We will start with the classification of head injuries. We will uh, uh, classify it into scalp injuries, skull fractures, meningeal injuries, and uh, uh, cerebral injuries. What is the mechanism of head injuries? The mechanism of head injuries is either direct impact or acceleration deceleration injuries. Today we will discuss the first part. Uh, we will revise the anatomy of the scalp. Uh, the scalp uh, is uh, uh, divided into uh, layers from outside to the inside. Skin, connective tissue, aponeurosis, loose areolar tissue, and pericardium. All types of injuries can occur in the scalp. Uh, we can enumerate these injuries according to the instrument. Injuries caused by blunt instruments like abrasions, contusions, and uh, uh, contused wound. And injuries caused by sharp uh, uh, instruments uh, which are uh, cut injuries and scalp injuries. When the patient comes to the emergency uh, with a scalp injury, uh, you should uh, palpate the scalp gently to locate the site of injury and then shave this site of injury to deal with the injury, uh, either by dressing or by suture or by compression. Uh, this is the, uh, what should you do. What is the medical legal importance of scalp injuries? The first of medical legal importance of scalp injuries is that the amount of bleeding is not a clue of severity of the injury. This is because the, the scalp is heavily blood supply and also there is a fibrous septa in the subcutaneous layer which keep the vessels opened after injury. This is means that minimal trauma leads to severe bleeding. The second of medical legal importance of scalp injuries is the minimal liability for sepsis, but if sepsis occurs, it is very dangerous. Minimal liability for sepsis, this is because the profuse bleeding. Uh, but if sepsis occurs, it uh, is uh, very dangerous because of intracranial spread, which may cause meningitis, encephalitis, or thrombophlebitis. Third of medical legal importance of scalp injuries is that the simulation of the contused or lacerated wounds to cut wounds. Why? Because the skin of the scalp is overstretched on the convex underlying bone. The convexity also of the bone of the skull causes this simulation. Now, Uh, we note that the contused wound in the scalp simulates the cut wound, like these pictures. 
how to differentiate between them the contused wound uh, uh, is wi with uh, uh, irregular edges uh, in the contused wound the base of the wound is compressed or crushed uh, in contused wound hair will be crushed also in the contused wound the surrounding area will uh, show the presence of abrasions and contusions The fourth uh, medical legal importance of scalp injuries is uh, the uh, uh, meningitis, which uh, is the uh, a complication of the intracranial spread of the scalp infection. Uh, this meningitis may be traumatic, may be meningococcal, or secondary to otitis media. Thus, uh, together, the topic of head injuries. This topic will be divided into two parts. The table uh, shows uh, the uh, different types of meningitis and how to differentiate. Uh, according to history, in traumatic meningitis, uh, there, there is a trauma. Uh, meningococcal meningitis, the history uh, uh, is uh, the presence of sore throat and uh, the presence of epidemic. In otitis media, the history will be middle ear disease. Second, the evidence of trauma and scalp infection. This is present in traumatic meningitis only. Uh, the skull affection by the presence of a fracture may be present in traumatic meningitis. While in meningococcal meningitis, the skull will be normal. In otitis media, there is usual the temporal necrosis and mastoiditis. Meningeal bus will be in uh, traumatic meningitis underlying the wound and uh, will be uh, 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 opposite to the wound and at the site of the wound. In meningococcal meningitis, it will be generalized, but it is mainly basal. In otitis media, the meningeal bus will be temporal. Uh, when we do uh, uh, CSF or uh, puncture, uh, the bacteriology of in case of traumatic meningitis will be similar to that of the scalp. In meningococcal meningitis, the bacteriology will show meningococci. In otitis media, the organism in the uh, ear will be similar to that in the uh, lumpar puncture or CSF. Uh, I will give you uh, some uh, questions and I uh, hope to answer them and uh, give me the answer or um, uh, if the uh, answers are uh, not in your mind or the questions are difficult, you can contact me to discuss these questions. The first question is, uh, give a reason, uh, minimal trauma to scalp may lead to profuse bleeding. False. Scalp injuries are characterized by profuse bleeding and great liability for sepsis. Now, we uh, uh, get term is black eye. What are the causes of black eye? The causes of black eye, uh, as you discussed before, uh, uh, are three causes. The first cause is a direct trauma to the eye. The second cause is the gravitational uh, bruises. And the third cause is the fracture base of the skull. The first of medical legal importance of scalp injuries is that the amount of bleeding is not the forensic anatomy of the skull, uh, of the skull which is uh, important to uh, revise, is that the skull is composed of the uh, vault of the skull and the base of the skull. The skull, as you see in the base, uh, is provided with multiple foramina, and the uh, most important foramen is the foramen magnum. 
The skull uh, is uh, um, uh, an example of a flat bone. The flat bone is composed of outer table, inner table, and a, a, a layer in between, which is called the diploic layer. What are the factors affecting the shape of the skull? The shape of the skull fracture, the fracture uh, uh, is uh, depending on uh, uh, three or many factors, which are depending on the head, which is uh, uh, hidden or which is uh, uh, contacted with the object, and the object and the force. Can uh, summarize the factors affecting the shape of the skull in that the object uh, or the striking surface area, uh, the size of the object and the shape of the object will determine the shape of the skull. According to the head, the head supported or not, this is very important. If the head is supported, all the energy is inflected to the skull and the result will be a severe fracture. But if the head is mobile, the head moves and part of the energy will be spread in this movement and the result will be less severe fracture. The site of the uh, fracture, uh, some parts of the skull uh, are uh, weak than the others, like the lateral part of the frontal bone, the temporal bone, and the lateral part of the occipital bone. Elasticity of the skull also is an important factor affecting the shape of the skull. The elasticity decreases with the age, and so the old age is liable to fractures than the young age because less elasticity. And also coverings are also a factor affecting the shape of the skull. Uh, when the uh, person, and uh, this is especially for the uh, motorcycles or uh, the uh, those who uh, ride motorcycles without coverings, uh, this is very dangerous for them. Coverings, uh, to some extent, uh, covers and protect the head. Force, or you can say momentum, or you can say kinetic energy, uh, mainly depends on M and V. M uh, is the mass, and V is the velocity. M, or the mass, uh, we can say here the heaviness of the uh, instrument. When the heaviness of the instrument is large, or the mass of the instrument is uh, uh, large, this will cause more severe fracture. These are the factors governing the fractures of the skull again, the force or the momentum related to mass and velocity, the striking surface area, position of the head is supported or not, the application site, the site of the blow, and also the elasticity of bone. Fractures, we can classify skull fractures into volt fractures and base fractures. Volt fractures uh, will be classified according to the instrument, blunt instrument, and sharp instrument. But base fractures, the sharp instrument is difficult to reach to the base, and so all the fractures in the base will be uh, caused by the uh, 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 instruments or the uh, uh, volt fractures, uh, except if it is indirect fracture. What are the fractures caused by the blunt end? Uh, we will revise the anatomy of a scalp. Uh, the scalp uh, is uh, uh, divided into uh, layers from outside to the inside, skin connected. We can uh, classify the fractures caused by the blunt instruments according to the striking surface area and also according to the force. 
According to the striking surface area, the uh, surface area either wide or localized, as we said before. Uh, when the fracture is caused by uh, an instrument with wide striking surface area and low force, the result will be fissure fracture. If the uh, fracture is caused by a blunt instrument with wide striking surface area and high force, the result will be the breast comminuted fracture. When the fracture is caused by blunt instrument with localized striking surface area, it is according to the force, either low force, moderate force, or high force. With low force, it, the result will be localized depressed fracture. With moderate force, the result will be localized depressed fracture with partial comminution. With high force, the result will be localized depressed fracture with complete comminution. Comminution means fragmentation of bone. The table uh, shows the uh, different types of meningitis and how to differentiate. Uh, according to history, in traumatic meningitis, there, there is a trauma. Uh, meningococcal meningitis is the uh, fissure fracture, and this is fissure fracture in plain X-ray. What are the factors affecting the shape of the skull? The shape of the skull fracture, the fracture uh, uh, is uh, depending on uh, uh, three or many factors, which are depending on the head, which is uh, head. Characters of fissure fracture, we start with the instrument. Uh, again, the instrument is blunt instrument with wide striking surface area and low momentum. This is the point which, uh, uh, at which the instrument uh, impacted the skull, and we call it point of impact. The fissure fracture starts uh, from the point of impact and spread along the uh, skull. Uh, fissure fracture usually choose the weakest points of the scalp to spread through. Fissure fracture may bifurcate. Also, fissure fracture may occur at either sides of the impact point or point of impact. If the uh, person is hit again by the blunt instrument, this is another point of impact, and this is another fissure fracture which uh, uh, stops at the first one. The last character of the fissure fracture is that fissure fracture can occur alone or associated with other types of fractures. This is fissure fracture also. This is pictures of fissure fracture in bones. We can uh, classify the fractures caused by the blunt instruments according to the striking surface area and also according to the force. with polar fracture as you see a polar fracture is a special type of fissure fracture it occurs if the head is supported and we hit the head opposite to the point of support when the head is or the skull is hit uh, uh, opposite to the point of support the result will be bulge in the three points of the skull and the result will be fissure fracture midway between the point of impact and the point of support. Here also the uh, fissure fracture occurs uh, uh, parallel to the line of force and perpendicular to the direction of trauma. Another slide for uh, uh, polar fracture. Polar fracture here, this is the direction of trauma against the uh, point of support of the head, and the result will be bulging in the free pools of the skull, and the net result will be 
fissure fracture between uh, or midway between the point of support and the point of impact. Why you study head injuries? Head injuries is the cause of death in 25% of trauma patients. It is the cause of death in 50% of motor vehicle accidents. Uh, if head injuries uh, don't cause or lead to death, it may lead to significant long-term disability. of head injuries is either direct impact or acceleration deceleration injuries Fracture is a fracture occurs also in the base of the skull, but it starts in the uh, vault of the skull and usually occurs in motor vehicle accidents, and especially in motorcyclists or uh, uh, those who ride uh, the motorcycles. The uh, fissure fracture begins in the vault of the skull and runs through the base of the skull, uh, separating the uh, base of the skull into two parts. Fracture is another type of fissure fracture which occurs in the uh, children or young, very young age before uh, closure of the sutures. Uh, fissure fracture occurs and runs in the suture which is not, uh, not uh, fused, uh, uh, not fused in the uh, young age, and uh, unfortunately, it separates the two bones. What are the factors affecting the shape of the skull? the complications of fissure fracture complications of fissure fracture firstly tear of the middle meningeal vessels which are located just beneath the vault of the skull and the result of this uh, tear in the meningeal artery will be extradural hemorrhage the second that it, the fissure fracture which occurs in the vault of the skull may extend to the base of the skull like in case of hinge fracture. The third will be the spread of infection. Like we said in the beginning of this lecture, uh, the scalp infection may spread uh, and uh, enters the intracranial cavity. This occurs usually through immissary veins and also through fractures. And so one of the complications of fissure fracture is spread of infection and uh, causing intracranial infection. We will discuss now the depressed fracture. The depressed fracture caused by focal impact, like you see. Uh, another uh, slide for showing the depressed fracture. This is depressed fracture in CT. What are the types of depressed fracture? Again, we will divide the, uh, the uh, we will divide the depressed fracture according to the striking surface area into the uh, fractures caused by blunt instrument with wide striking surface area and fracture caused by localized striking surface area. With wider striking surface area, the result will be uh, uh, the breast comminuted fracture as the force will be high. So, the breast comminuted fracture is a fracture caused by uh, blunt instrument with wider striking surface area and high force. 
with localized striking surface area, the uh, uh, net result will be localized depressed fracture. And according to the force, either the force will be low and the result will be the localized depressed fracture. The force is moderate and the result will be localized depressed with partial comminution. Uh, there is, uh, the force is high and the result will be localized depressed fracture with complete comminution. Start with localized depressed fracture. Localized depressed fracture uh, 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 caused by the blunt instrument with localized uh, with localized surface area, as we said before, and according to the force, either no comminution or partial comminution or complete comminution. Uh, the second character of localized depressed fracture is the shape. Uh, in case of localized depressed fracture, the uh, fracture uh, gives an idea about the shape of the instrument. It is either circular or square. We will discuss now the depressed fracture. The depressed fracture caused by focal impact, like you see. This is localized depressed fracture again, localized depressed fracture with no comminution at all, localized depressed fracture with partial comminution, localized depressed fracture with complete comminution. I want you to search for what's the pond fracture and also what is spider web fracture. Again, this is the scheme of the types of depressed fracture, and we discussed the localized depressed fracture. Now we will discuss the depressed comminuted fracture. The breast comminuted fracture is caused by blunt instrument with wide striking surface area and high force. Fracture is a fracture occurs also in the base of the skull, but it starts in and this fracture will uh, cause uh, injury to the brain and so there is a mass to remove the breast. It will uh, cause the brain injury. The complications of the breast fracture. The first complication is uh, because the presence of bone fragments, especially in case of comminuted fracture, and these bone fragments will cause the cerebral uh, uh, laceration or compression or intracranial hemorrhage, which cause compression also to the brain. Uh, so the net result will be cerebral compression or brain laceration. Intracranial infection, it is another type of fracture through which the spread of infection from the scalp wound can occur. The third complication is from the operation which must be done for this, this fracture, which is the decompression operation. In decompression operation, we remove part of the bone, either the depressed bone, or we do terrifying to, to reach the hemorrhage or the hematoma inside, which causes the compression of the brain. And so the result will be the bony gap. Uh, please uh, again answer these questions and uh, if there is any difficulty in answering these questions, please contact me. This is uh, MSQ. MSQ. What is polar fracture? Now we will discuss fractures caused by sharp instruments. 
Sharp instruments, uh, either sharp and heavy instrument or sharp and light instrument. This is a classification of sharp instruments. It's caused by sharp instruments, either cut fracture like this, and this cut fracture with regular edge. This is cut fracture. Or cut comminuted fracture if the force is high. The first one, cut fracture, is caused by sharp and light instrument. But uh, cut comminuted fracture is caused by sharp and heavy instrument. Also, there is another type of uh, a fracture which is caused by sharp instrument, which is uh, named chip fracture. Chip fracture is a fracture caused by a sharp instrument which uh, pass tangential to the skull and remove its outer table, remaining its inner table. What are the factors affecting the shape of the skull? The shape of the skull fracture, the fracture uh, uh, is uh, depending on uh, uh, three or many factors which are depending on the head which is uh, uh, hidden or which is uh, are the injuries which are caused by an axe, which are uh, the uh, uh, summary of all fractures we discussed uh, now. The cut comminuted fracture with uh, the uh, edge of the blade, the localized depressed fracture with the head of the axe, the depressed comminuted fracture with the head of the axe, fissure fracture with the handle, and the triangular fracture with the angle of the Bleed. Now we will discuss the fractures of the base. The fractures of the base will be either extension from the vault of the skull or indirect trauma like ring fracture or direct trauma from bullet injuries. Uh, as you uh, know, uh, the uh, base of the skull is divided into anterior fossa, middle fossa, and posterior fossa. If the fracture is the anterior fossa, the result will be a black eye, symmetrical and on both sides, and this is called the Raycon's eye, a subconjunctival hemorrhage, epistaxis, and rhinorrhea. It's caused by sharp instruments, either cut fracture like this, and this cut fracture with regular edge, this is cut fracture, or cut comminuted fracture posterior fossa there will be nuchal stiffness due to the uh, uh, spread of the blood in between the uh, uh, layers of the neck and the muscles of what are the dangers of fracture uh, base hemorrhage as we said escape of csf intracranial infection and also cranial nerve injury Healing of fissure fracture uh, takes uh, only uh, or four months. Uh, types of fracture starts from the three weeks by smoothening. It takes up to 12 months to uh, fill the bony gap with a fibrous tissue. It will uh, cause the brain injury. are the injuries which are caused by an axe, which are uh, the uh, uh, summary of all fractures. Uh, official uh, email, you can contact me. Uh, false. Scalp injuries are characterized by profuse bleeding and great liability for sepsis.